Going and in reference to the allegations of government or people that kidnapped me from my mother and father's mansions and the people that tried to steal my birth name, it is obligatory based on laws of media in reference to the size of my parents' estates and the value of the estates. It is obligatory based on law that the media publicize the identity of the exact people that are trying to steal the estates from me and the exact people that tried to steal my birth name and the exact people that are blocking me from my mother and father's mansions and the exact people that kidnapped me from my mother and father's mansions. See, and which person ordered the kidnapping when they kidnapped me from my mother and father's mansions. See, everything has to be, my mother and father had over a trillion dollars in cash monies. So I'm not sure if you want to say the lawsuits all start in the trillions. They had vaults that are protected by historic law, too. So you don't want to try to steal anything, whoever anybody is. But, you know, in reference to factual laws of the Treasury, the Treasury knows of these uh, documents of facts. And in reference to the tricks of people, the factuality of things. Somebody wants me to mention that my parents had a lot more than just a trillion, you know of family history of wealth, you know. But uh, in reference to the facts of information of things, uh, the value in the history of this situation has been detoured based on people that are trying to steal everything. So in reference to obligatory treasury facts and laws, the record has to be set straight. In reference to the facts and the manipulations of these people, and the exact name of who the ringleader is of all these tricks. You know, who who's their big man? What's the name of the big man that's making all these orders? Is it a former president, a governor? What race? What religion? What? And these people that damaged my face and teeth. These people that tried to rape me. The people that tried to steal my identity. The people that tried to murder me. The people that tried to steal mansions and properties and accounts and information. Everything has to be you know, pinpointed to the exact point of who these people are. That's obligatory based on facts of law, based on the value of land that these people have tried to steal and corporations. It's obligatory based on facts of the FCC and obligatory based on the facts of the Treasury and Supreme Court and international courts. So it has to be publicly known Exactly who the people was that kidnapped me from my mother and father's mansions. Exactly who was the person or who was involved in trying to call me Mark Ray all the time. I've had to use that name because they held me hostage under that name. All these years. And my mother even copyrighted the name. So nobody could get away with stealing money if she tried to send me money under that name. You know, my birth name's the same as my biological parents. And the Treasury should have that on record. We need the Treasury to make a public statement. We need these the courts, the Supreme Court, to make public statements too. And the news media. Factuality, that satellite man's still hitting me in the teeth. My teeth are my teeth, man. They're hermaphrodite teeth. They're not your race. They're not your religion. And you're violating asthma protection laws and hyperventilation protection laws and hypoglycemic protection laws. Because when you're burning the teeth, that bleeds a person's mouth. It bleeds and sweats their teeth. It burns the skin off their teeth. It burns the enamel. And if you say you didn't know that, you're a goddamn liar. And there has to be court cases every day that they've been touching me. Every time they've touched, lawsuits go up. Every time they've zapped me. All suits go up. So, whoever the ringleader is that's trying to steal my mother and father's estates, whoever the people are that claim that they, they thought they were the will executors, there is no will executor. My parents was alive when they gave me everything. And that's even on treasury records, isn't it? We need the treasury to make a statement. Refusing to make a statement means people will think that the Treasury might be involved in the fraud. Right? 
somebody trying to frame me or trying to slander my character or trying to pick fights with me or trying to injure me or causing me physical injuries or damage on the face or teeth to make up slanderous junky accusations of any kind or uh, any type of allegations of their fabrications or whatever they've tried to say for their abuses or their activity of financial withholdings. There has to be documentaries of this situation. Maybe the History Channel. People refusing to do the information or in the people refusing to mention the information in the media or it could be a website where somebody, you know, the Treasury needs to set up a website about information, factual information that other people can look to see if the Treasury has the information correct or if they're liars. It's facts of law, man. Roll protocols in the media 24 hours a day of my identity. And it's there for a reason. See, these people are trying to steal everything that I own, and they're trying to put their picture, they're trying to put their their blueprint of their identity, they've tried to put it on my documents. They tried to play the switcheroo game. They tried to steal who I am and tried to make me look like the poor boy. And there has to be court cases against that, too. People plagiarizing documents of my parents and them trying to steal my lifestyle that my parents afforded for me. And that my parents had, when they had given me the estates, somebody else tried to make up probate games when I'm the only child of my parents. And it even says anybody contesting the estates must get arrested. And that says it in factual law. And anybody slandering my parents, there has to be court cases against those people.